so 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 Hey everybody, just before we get started on the latest update for the uh, what's going on with the lithium ion house battery pack, I wanted to give you a quick update. Uh, after posting my last video, ebikeschools.com happened to give me some really great feedback. He uh, complimented me on my battery build, but also informed me that the um, individual cells that I had purchased off of eBay that were rated at uh, 9800 milliamps really are only a thousand milliamp cells which did not make me very happy because that makes that pack one tenth of what I thought it was going to be so it essentially makes it a hundred amp hour battery pack which is really pretty useless for the size battery that it is and the expense involved but I wanted to thank him for giving me that quick update before I actually installed it in the boat, thinking it would be a, you know, thousand amp hour pack. So as I go forward, what I'm going to do is use this battery pack as a test bed for uh, checking my ability to actually complete the project, and we'll run some tests on the pack and see how it works. But I just wanted to give everybody that update in case you happen to go out there and start buying these cells and finding out that hey, man. These are not what they're supposed to be. So I thought it was important to pass that information on to you viewers out there. So with that said, uh, let's get going and uh, see what's happening next on the build. The next thing I did was I purchased three simple digital voltage meters and I placed them on each one of the cells which you see here showing the cell voltage at 3.7 volts. The next thing I did was hook up my jumper cables between each one of the cells, creating the serial connection for the whole battery pack. You see them here in the heavy black wires. Then I took my multimeter and checked my total cell voltage, which showed as 15.4 volts which corresponds to four times the 3.7 volts that you see on each one of the individual cells. After completing all the wiring for the battery pack, now it was time to secure it all together. So the first thing I did was I took quarter inch wood dowels, cut them to the height of the battery pack, and place two of them in between each one of the cells. This then allowed me to tighten the pack up using four 48 inch zip ties. Now that the pack was basically held together but really not very firm and, and tight enough to be able to move the pack around, I purchased four pieces of all threads, some nuts, washers, and some, a strip of one by two wood which I cut to the proper length so they would fit inside my battery box on board the Morgan Out Islander 41. Drilled the end of the wood so that the all thread would pass through there so that I could use them and essentially make a big clamp to clamp the battery pack together. Here you can see the end of the battery pack with the large black zip ties there initially holding the pack together. The pieces of wood blocking drilled with the all thread going through them with the nuts and the washers. Now 
Here you see the opposite end of the battery pack with the dual clamping completed and tightened down. With the battery pack construction completed, next week's video log will cover the installation and testing of the BMS system. So tune back in. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you really like it or you're glutton for punishment, go ahead and become a subscriber. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you in the next video log.